All right, well, good morning. Good to see everybody. And thank you, Thor. Uh, thank you so much to John, to Chair Harvey, and uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'd like to thank our partners, Invest Vancouver, uh, and the Commotion team for their great collaboration in putting this uh, event together today. And I also want to thank all of you for being here today. Uh, it's so great to, to be joining you today at Motivate uh, Vancouver, being held in place of our regular annual New Mobility Forum. And it's such an exciting event. Uh, I'm really looking forward to today as we bring together startups and investors and policymakers and mobility leaders to talk uh, about next gen mobility. I think I have some slides here, maybe. Oh, look at that. Um, so, as, uh, as Metro Vancouver's integrated multimodal transportation authority, uh, TransLink has such a huge role to play in building the future of transportation and our region, which is why we're at the table. Realizing the vision of access for everyone, which is the theme of Transport 2050, our region's 30-year regional transportation strategy, that will require all of us to work together to embrace innovation, new technologies, and partnerships across every mode of transportation. Uh, our region, like, oh, I think I'm behind here. Okay, anyways. So our region, like many uh, in the world, we're facing uh, unprecedented challenges. And these are things that many of you uh, are facing uh, that you're aware of, right? Uh, we know the change of pace is accelerating. We know we're seeing climate impacts, such as more frequent extreme weather, including heat waves and flooding. Those are intensifying, prompting ambitious plans to cut emissions and enhance climate resilience. Advances in artificial intelligence are bringing far-reaching impacts to every sector and for every person, unlocking new promises and perils. Rapid urban growth is bringing people together in knowledge centers and economic hubs, which is part of what makes cities great. But that growth is also creating new pressures. So where does TransLink fit into all this? Well, we want to create a mobility ecosystem that puts the most sustainable modes of transportation first, helping to make zero emissions travel a reality. But we must leverage new innovations in automation, connectivity, electrification, and sharing, all to achieve the region that we want. For TransLink's own public transit fleet, we have a bold vision and aggressive climate targets. Our plan is to achieve a 45% greenhouse gas reduction by 2030 and achieve a zero emissions bus fleet by 2040. Already, more than half the passenger kilometers on our transit system are zero emissions, thanks to a fully electrified SkyTrain network and Canada's largest trolley electric fleet. We're expanding our compressed natural gas bus fleet to nearly 400 vehicles next year and switching to 100% renewable natural gas sourced from organic waste. We'll also be adding over 400 new battery electric buses by 2030, powering our nearly 100% renewable energy grid. So what does the future hold? Electrification, green hydrogen, and sustainable biofuels could all play important roles in our future fleet in the coming decades. But that's why we need to move forward in the spirit of innovation, in partnership with people like you, all of you in this room here today, to help us chart a path forward, all of you on battery technology and charging infrastructure, renewable energy storage, and innovations to improve the customer experience and beyond. But I wanna note that transit is just one piece of the puzzle. Thinking about the future of this region, we know the coming decades will be defined by multimodal transportation. And today, you'll be hearing from startups, from investors and thought leaders on urban air mobility, new business models, big data, uh, clean marine transportation, and more. And by sharing expertise and coordinating efforts, continued collaboration can help us address the challenges we're facing now and in the future. And whether it's better integrating multimodal transportation options, providing shared mobility models as an alternative to car ownership, or expanding our battery electric bus fleet, 
we can work together towards improving access to sustainable transportation options that work for everyone. At TransLink, we are uh, so committed to continuously exploring and evaluating and implementing uh, innovative ways to improve mobility in Metro Vancouver. And this means taking a, a much more open and nimble approach uh, to integrating with industry, with entrepreneurs, uh, and academia while looking for new and better ways to keep the region moving forward through the emerging field of new mobility. And working together, we can more quickly surface uh, and pilot uh, meaningful new ideas and technologies to reach uh, our common goals. And needless to say, there is so much exciting work ahead of us. And that's why today I'm so excited to announce our 2023 Open Call for Innovation. And this initiative is where we solicit new ideas and innovations to improve regional transportation. And this year, the Open Call will be all about a state of good repair, asking entrepreneurs, businesses, inventors, and innovators to submit proposals to help keep TransLink's system well-maintained, reliable, and high-performing. And examples of this could include things like drones that can inspect or repair transit infrastructure, or virtual reality systems and wearable technologies to support maintenance of our system. For successful uh, submissions, we offer funding and collaboration to test and implement your idea. Submissions will be accepted from August 1st through September 15th. Last year's open call for innovation asked for ideas that could help reduce uh, the carbon footprint uh, in our region. And I'm pleased to share that Kipe Electric's innovative idea to capture energy generated from SkyTrain or trolley bus braking has been selected for that. And this energy could be used in different ways, including to potentially charge future electric transit vehicles. So this proposal is being evaluated. This technology could be implemented in the future if it provides a benefit to the transit system. Really cool project. Uh, creating a more sustainable transportation future is uh, a truly uh, ambitious endeavor. But being here today to collaborate, to learn from one another, is another step in the right direction as we work to advance sustainable mobility options across our region. The fact is we have a lot of exciting work ahead of us, but together I'm so confident that we can chart a path uh, that creates a brighter, a cleaner and a more accessible future for everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today.